All right, guys, so welcome back to the first video. In this video, we're just going to be setting up plugins. So this project will be down in the description. Open it up. Uh, the reason why is because I have the animations in here that we're going to need. The enter, enter left, or enter center, left, right, exit, and the loop animation. And we have our character here as well. So anyway. Getting started, we're going to enable some plugins. There's quite a few plugins we need in order to make this work. So first off, we need a state tree. So enable state tree and gameplay state tree. Actually, it looks like I already have all these enabled inside of here, but I'll go ahead and walk you through all the ones that we need. So we need the state tree, the gameplay state tree. We need the gameplay interactions. So the gameplay interactions. And I think this one is a requirement of the gameplay interactions. It should automatically enable that one, I believe. So. Also, uh, we may need the animation locomotion library. We're going to need animation warping for the stride warping. We're going to need motion warping. Yeah, motion warping as well. And let's see, gameplay state tree. I think I already went over that one. Oh, right, I have to have all plugins. Yeah, so gameplay state tree and state tree. Motion warping. Smart objects plugin. Yeah, smart objects. We're not going to need the gameplay behavior smart objects. We are going to need contextual animations. So some of the other videos are going to go over the gameplay behavior one and really that's more for behavior trees if you want to use behavior trees so i might do a video where i go over that but uh i've become so invested with state trees now that i kind of don't want to go back to the other one contextual animation and i believe that's it so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, well, you can come under gameplay and you'll see some of the other gameplay ones too. Not real familiar with all of these, but the gameplay ability isn't something that we're going to be using. We do need this one though. I might uh, look into some of these other ones too that I like the mass entity. You can use this with mass. So, and in part, it actually does use mass. More objects anyway, but yeah, it's pretty much it. 